Hey guys, Jimbo Evan here, and Sam back with some more Elgarian Skies. Today's episode 3, and yeah, so as you guys can see, I did a little bit of work. I got a giant melon farm here, so now we have a ton of food. I actually been doing a few, uh, pretty much, uh, quests and stuff like that, and I also made this really, really big tree farm. I pretty much put a ton of silkworms in here, hopefully to get maybe a full entire chest of string when we do mine it down soon. Also, guys, I found this really cool chest called the Hungry Chest, and pretty much if you throw stuff on it, in, it will actually eat it, which is pretty funny. So, um, yeah, I've been storing all my melons in there, which is pretty cool, and yeah, we've been getting a ton of melons because of this really, really sick, uh, just actually this really, really, uh, it's like really, really efficient, but it's really, really cool at the exact same time, because like I just let it be for like five minutes, and then I see a whole entire row, and I just simply come down here with this hatchet, and I just get all my melons back, which is pretty cool. And also, you guys, you also you guys can see that I have uh, three iron right now, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna go ahead and make a bucket now with this bucket, guys, which is pretty sick. We can finally, which I love, what we're gonna be doing now is actually make a mob farm. I'm gonna probably maybe do that by next episode, guys, or maybe just doing like the finishing cup touches next episode. I'm gonna be building like the base thing, everything. Uh, so you guys don't have to watch that really boring of building the mob farm. But yeah, you actually get unlimited water here, which is pretty sick. And, um, yeah, I think I'm going to probably do that. I really don't know what that's going to do to the thing. It doesn't look like it did anything. Um, just looking around here. No, it didn't do anything. Uh, but yeah, pretty much now we have a bucket. So now we can start grabbing water and using it, uh, of course, to our, to our use to, uh, maybe make uh, another wheat farm and stuff like that. And, sorry, maybe make a wheat farm. And, of course, now with this bucket of water, we can actually start making uh, more uh, pretty much melon farms and stuff like that. So we can get a really, really good supply of melons right now. As you guys can see in this little hunger chest right here, I have uh, pretty much about three and a quarter stacks of melons, which is not that bad. I'm starting to lose a little bit now because, of course, I'm not really mining these. I'm mo mostly focusing on just working around. I've been... Pretty much spending a lot of time trying to get that iron to get a bucket. And I thought it would be pretty cool just to start off with the bucket, of course. Uh, yeah, so what I think we're going to be doing is actually going to be chopping down a little bit of this tree at the beginning. Because I want to see how much string we can get. And also what I want to do is a little bit of work on pretty much maybe uh, getting just getting a few resources in general. I want to... Uh, Maybe start to work on the mob farm. I'm probably going to be clearing out this area right over here. Or maybe moving somewhere else to make a mob farm. Because I do want to have a place that's really like... Um, that like it's really easy for me to access the mob farm. And it just simply goes into a chest. I'm going to probably be using this chest right here for the mob farm. Because I don't know exactly how this... I don't know if I can put stuff here and it will open it up. It, I guess it only works if you put it on the top of the chest. So I'm going to probably do something with a water system or something that the items actually go into this chest right over here because I definitely want them. Maybe even a one uh, drop block so pretty much when the monsters die their items drop here and then the chest can simply pick it up without having to use hoppers. Uh, I think that's going to be a really cool idea with this hunger chest or whatever. Uh, but yeah, I'm just, uh, I was just looking up how to pretty much craft... Um, Pretty much or sands over here because I wanted to make some um, for, of course, I was doing that before because I wanted to pretty much make the bucket and everything. But um, yeah, let's just go ahead and mine this melon right here, uh, this melon block over here. I have to constantly eat because, like, food food's really annoying to get in this game, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and make some, uh, what I want to do, I want to make some uh, crooks really quickly. I also want to put a few things into this chest right over here that we're not going to be using. Uh, we have all these really cool items, which I'm pretty happy about. And we're also, what we're going to be doing, guys, is we're going to be trying to um, probably do a little bit of work on... Uh, just get this melon again. Oh, they're growing so fast, which I love about them. Uh, we're going to probably do some work on maybe um, getting some more just items that we can possibly have in here. Because this is kind of like a really bad house design. I've been using it. And also with uh, pretty much the zombie flushes and stuff like that. We can hang them here. And turn them into some food. Uh, their food I believe it becomes into mutton jerky. Which is pretty cool. Um, let me just eat this again really quickly. Oh my god the food is crazy. Uh, so let's go ahead and pretty much get out all our sticks right now. And I want to craft some. Uh, what's it called? I want to craft some, eh, I don't even know what the block is called. I think it's, yeah, it's crooks. I want to craft some crooks. Uh, so let's just go ahead and do that. We need a ton of crooks for this, guys, because of just how it's going to work. Um, 
probably I'm going to get, I don't want too many, but I don't want too little. So that looks like it's actually perfect amount of crooks right now. I'm going to probably put this bucket uh, inside my chest just in case I die. I didn't die yet, which is good, but I'm just a little bit nervous about dying, of course. Uh, I'm just looking at the sides right now, guys, because I don't want any of the pretty much objects to fall into... Yeah, there we go. That's the only problem over there. So right over here, objects could fall off. So I'll probably dig around over... I'll probably just dig in this area right over here for now. Uh, because I don't want to lose any of the string. I want to try to keep all the string possible. And of course I want to use Crooks, guys, so I can get Silkworms back. We already got three Silkworms, which is pretty cool. Uh, we won't do that much mining on this tree, guys. I just want to do a little bit now because I want to show you guys how I'm getting all my string. Because I believe you just saw me in like one episode where I had two stacks of string. And that was kind of weird. Like, if you guys just you guys just saw the series and you had no clue, but like, how did he get two stacks of string? Um, and yeah, that's kind of funny. So, uh, yeah, I'm getting all my string, of course, from using silkworms on uh, pretty much on these trees right over here. And pretty much it's turning, uh, it's pretty much infecting the leaves. And once it does, pretty much they now turn into string. So then you can simply just uh, use a crook or whatever to just dig. Uh, well, you can use your hand if you want, but preferably Crick gives you back uh, Silkworms, which is really good. So that's why I'm using uh, pretty much... That's why I'm using the Crook here. It's already nighttime. Oh my god, like the day just goes by so fast in, in uh, Elgarian Skies, which is pretty cool. So, I'm just going to dig this tree. I'm going to probably do a little bit of mining with my pick. Uh, let's just go ahead and reinforce it. I'll just reinforce it once because... it. It's okay if I just reinforce it once. So it's already at, it's almost going to be so close until that uh, pick is upgraded again, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's just dig these. As you guys can see, I'm getting like a ton of melons from this farm, which is really sweet. Um, so let's just dig that right over here. So I don't even know how many uh, melons I put in there. Yeah, now we got four stacks in there, which is pretty sweet. Uh, so then I was, I'll just go to bed really quick, and what's also cool, guys, if I get a lot of melons, I can actually turn those melons into pretty much dirt, which is pretty sweet, so that's gonna help me out a lot, too. Oh my god, a creeper. Oh my god, don't blow up! Don't blow up! No, don't blow up! Okay, oh my god. Phew, 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 oh. Okay, good, they don't blow up anything. If they did, that would really suck. Ooh, a melon just grew, awesome. Uh, so... Yeah, it's good that creepers actually don't 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 blow up. I never knew that. N no creeper ever like pretty much went off yet. So that's uh that's definitely that's definitely something good to know. Um, so let's go ahead and take this down over here. We're just getting so many silkworms already at sixty. I think I used about twenty on this tree. Like I could have used like one and let it infect, but I kind of wanted to do it pretty fast. I didn't want like the speed to go really slow. Depending on how many silkworms you do put in your tree then the tree, of course, will go faster because you pretty much put them in, like, certain spots around the tree so it starts infecting just all around. Uh, so we're already at a stack in 20, so I'll probably get about two stacks around this, and then what I'll do is after that, I'll do the rest off-camera and pretty much, like, I don't want to, I don't want to bore you guys with just doing this. You won't see this a lot, guys. You'll see maybe every five or six episodes, one resource episode where I'm just doing a little bit of boring things. But then the rest, you'll probably see really, really sweet things of me showing you guys cool things that I did and all that stuff. Um, so let's just go around here. So we're at almost at two stacks right now. I need about two stacks of string because I do want to make I do want to make it into wool. Um, I want to have some wool. I mean, I don't really know why. I just want some wool for some odd reason. Uh. I think that's good. Yeah, we're at like pretty much at how much we're pretty much at a good amount. We're not even getting we're not even getting any string anymore. Oh my god! I swear we're not getting any string. Uh, it just doesn't feel like it. Uh, so let's just go ahead and do a little bit more melon farming. I think we're gonna actually have to make another layer on top of this because I do want more melons. Um, so I'll just go ahead and use them really quickly on this. Thing right over here so we can get this it does cost a lot of melons though to use that I don't even know how much I had at the beginning there but it pretty much used all of them um just looking at what we can do so we do have the bucket so like I said before guys we will be working out so sorry I will be working on the mob farm we'll probably be ready next episode guys uh let's just do a little bit of fishing why not 
Uh, I know in my old series of Algarian Skies, I actually did fishing forever because I had no food. But now look at how good, look how good I'm doing. Wow, it's pretty nice. Um, so we already have another one. We already have another melon grow, grown. That's pretty sweet. So we'll we'll get a few pieces of fish. I think that's gonna be good. Just like a few pieces, and we should be good after that. Um, uh, just waiting for this. I'm just waiting for this. Come on, come on, fishy. I don't even understand, like, if I'm in the water, like, I'm like this, and the fish will still come to this fishing rod, which is weird. Like, I'm even in the water, look at this, is this gonna come in a sec? Uh, come on, fishy. Maybe they have a better type of fishing system. Just in normal Minecraft, if you're in the water, sometimes fish even come, which makes kind of no sense. Oh my god, where is the fish? Come on, fish. It's like taking forever, like, no fish is... Want a bite, I guess. Um, okay, we'll just undo that. Never mind. Oh my god. I guess I guess mod is much different in fish catching, which is pretty good. Um, so now we're only at five melons, unfortunately, but that's alright, because we'll just get it back soon. Uh, so I guess I can't work on that anymore, guys. Um, but I just don't... I don't have that much to show you guys, unfortunately, this episode, guys, because I thought I'd do a really kind of good episode today. I like the best episode I could possibly do today because um, I just wanted to, of course, because I said I would do about two episodes per week, guys, of Elkarian Skies. So I'm going to try to do one today. And I really wanted to do one, but I guess I do need more content. So in the future, of course, guys, I'll try to do more between episodes. And I also wanted to show you guys, of course, the two, uh, sorry, the three iron I got because I didn't want you guys to see. Oh my god, he already made a mob farm by next episode and he had. How did he get uh, the iron? Like, what happened there? So I wanted to show you guys that I actually got a bucket and everything like that. Um, we already have so much items right now. We have, like, tons of... Let me just get my melons back down here. Um, so for this dirt, what I'll probably do is I'll probably just throw it in here. Uh, I've been... I spent... I don't even know how much dirt I used. But I think I got about a stack of dirt, and I spent it just on pretty much, like... And just pretty much uh, making it into stone and everything like that. Oh, we have eight pieces now. That's not that bad. Okay. So we'll just make two pieces of stone, I guess. And then we'll go ahead and just get two pieces right over here. We'll turn that into um, gravel and then we'll put it through the machine. So this is pretty cool, guys, this machine. I don't think I showed it to you guys before, but it pretty much, like, turns stuff into uh, cool resources and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm, all, I'm getting all this, like, really sick resources and everything like that. Uh, that's gold ore and that's nickel. Uh, we got some broken lead ore that could be useful. Um, so we'll go ahead and make this. I believe I can just go like this. I haven't... Yes, there we go. And then what we do is we go like this. And we pretty much make it into this. And then we put it into this. And then do we go like this? Yes, we do. And then after that, we go like this. And then we pretty much smelt that in the smelter. And then it'll give us some cool resources. We do need to make another chest, actually. Uh, because we don't have pretty much any area for a chest right now. So I'm going to go ahead and make another one. And just put that right over here so we can store maybe some crooks in here. Just for, like, safekeeping later. Uh, and yeah, now we have a lead uh, ore, so it took me, I had to do that pretty much, how many times did I have to do that? I think I had to do that, yeah, three times for the bucket, which was pretty cool, but I think it was like two times, because as you guys know, it was, no, it was like, I think it was, yeah, it was three times, never mind, because I was just thinking, it was like three times pretty much, and of course getting iron out of all the chances that you can possibly get is definitely difficult, because there's like, I think there's like nine chances uh, so, it's one out of nine, but I don't really know the rates exactly, so maybe iron's like three out of nine or something like that. I'm just looking, do we have anything? We got, uh, some tin ore right up here. Oh, we got some aluminum ore, so we'll go ahead and make that. Um, just looking at what we can do, so we can go ahead and do this. Cross drawer, turn that into aluminum. And now we get all this stuff right here, pulverized aluminum ore, awesome. So now we can turn that into... Uh, now we can turn that into, of course, aluminum. So we're getting all these really sweet resources, which is pretty cool. I have no clue what Ember does. I'm going to have to search that up. Actually, let's just do it right now. Can I just search it up? Yeah. Uh, Ember, uh, right here. What does it do? So I can make Ember blocks right here. I can smelt it to get Ember, uh, Nether Ember. 
Oh, you can get diamonds in this thing? Oh my god, that is pretty sweet. I never knew you could actually get diamonds in that thing. Um, So let's just go over here, and then we'll put Ember back into it. So I guess there's nothing else with Ember, of course. Uh, But yeah, maybe we could do something, of course, soon with Ember. Uh, I don't really know what I'm going to do now, but yeah. Oh my god, we're like, look at that low Nissan food. Got slowness and mining and all that stuff. All that bad stuff when we don't have uh, a lot of food and stuff like that. But unfortunately, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. Hope you guys did, do enjoy the series. If you do, of course, a like would really be appreciated. And if you really enjoyed this video, guys, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And make sure to apply to the Jim Webmancraft Network for a 70% revenue share, guys. That's going to be it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. And this has been Jim 11, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.